Okay. Hopefully I've got this right. Oh boy. <sighs> Don't mind me folks. It's early in the morning. I'm doing this like 11 o'clock. I, uh, trying out some new kicks, so they hurt a little bit, but I'm trying to get, it's wedges, so I'm trying to get used to wearing them, so, and I'm also wearing a mask, by the way. <coughs> um, I know you're going to say, well, why are you wearing a mask inside? And that's because I'll be tearing this apart, and, um, this is from Japan. This is the real 3DO. And what I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to try to clean it up first of all. Second of all, see how this inside of the system is. And if everything's looking okay, then put the ODE in. Because, ah, whatever, I didn't get it. So, I got the system from Japan. And if you, fall, if you know about the 3DO, you'll know why. But if you don't... Uh, let me see if I can show you real quick. It has the mode select switch. The switch between 240p and 480i. And the only 3DO that had that was in Japan. Now this is an FC1 unit. And this and got it for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a favorite of mine. Um, I, this is literally the first retro console I ever bought. Um, back when I was in a, back when I first became an adult, right before I became an adult, uh, 17 years old. <coughs> um, so anyway, I bought it from the Cash for Games in Newark. So actually, I'm going to take my mask off wall before I'm opening it up. Because when I open it up, and then I'm really going to have to put the mask on because I don't know what dust and everything is in there. So it looks clean from the outside. It really does. You know, it's a very clean looking system. The only caveat is that the disk drive doesn't work, which is fine because we're going to put an ODE in here. So it looks clean on its own, but I still want to clean it. And the biggest concern for me, um, especially with this being on almost 30 year old console, 30 years old this year, is that the capacitors is the capacitors any good because the 3d is, is known for having some of them have bad capacitors so that's why i really want you if i see any signs of bad capacitors i am not turning this thing on it's going right to refurb um i don't do soldering i do everything else so if i see that the system is not you know if i see leaky caps i'm going to end it right here so and just put it back together so that's what we're going to do today. I The ultimate goal with this is to obviously put the uh, ODE in, the Fixel one, but also to put the digital AV in, but I don't know when that's going to happen because uh, he was, I have a pre-order and it was supposed to ship out between January and February. Now I know we're just in February, but I, am as, I'm, I sent the message asking what the status was because um, we still haven't seen a, pro, a, a finished picture of the final board. Um, we still even haven't seen a video yet of it working. So I don't know if there was a setback. I don't know if it got delayed. Um, and he just didn't say anything yet, but I'll find out. Cause if it's going to be some time, I'll just work. I'll just work on something else and save the AV for another day. So we're going to turn this over now. I got my trusty ice cube tray. And there's four screws. You can see it in the little holes. I see something on the bottom there, so we're gonna. And that's when it's good to have the mask. When you have to do stuff like that. So you don't get no dust in your lungs or in your nose or in your mouth. And that's what's good about the, <coughs> excuse me, that's what's good about the, the, the screwdriver being a little magnetic. Because it can pull the screws out from these long shafts. One second. Look at that 
came out. By the way, I'm trying to do a little voice training today, but the longer this goes, it's probably not going to be for the best. So just giving you a heads up now. And there's another mod that I'm going to do for this that goes along with the ODE. And that's, I would have done it today, but I realized when the parts came in, which is my fault, I should have read, that it doesn't come with the uh, piece for the SD card. So let me show you real quick what I'm planning to do. So there's a shield above this expansion port. And what happens is Humble Bazooka actually makes a 3D printed part that you could take the shield that replaces the shield and you could put an SD card or a micro SD for the ODE. So you, you don't have to open up the ODE every time you need to update it or if you want to add a new game, which I'm not really going to have to worry about because I got the entire game library pared down like it did for the Dreamcast on a 256 gig micro SD card. But this is more for convenience for updates. So, and to be able to put the SD card in there and to close the expansion port. So, I would have done that today, but my stupid ass forgot to order the micro SD, the SD card adapter. And by the way, I went with SD. By the way, this is a little hard to open. Um, instead of micro SD, because I figured a micro SD would get stuck easy. By the way, care is needed to lift this, especially after all these years. Just gotta, because all the screws are unscrewed. You just gotta, oh wow. That's a lot of dust. And a lot of wear and tear. And there's some rust in here. Oh wow. The RF shielding has got some rust in here. Oh boy, I was not expecting this at all because with some rust you can fix it, with some rust will be okay, but I don't know about this, I don't know, I'm going to take some screens, I'm going to take some, I'm going to get my iPad to take some pictures real quick because I'm filming with the phone. So. Because I bought this with the understanding that the disk drive didn't work. I didn't buy it with the understanding that there'd be rust. It's like if you're going to sell a system at least open it up to see how it is on the inside. Where's the camera? Right here. <coughs> so I know Japan is a very like salt watery country. Like, as far as, like, if, if, say, this, whoever owned this 3DO lived in, like, a beach town, you know, there's a lot of salt water in the air that could have done this. But I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to keep going and see. Let me see if I can get gloves on for this. I know these are gonna be a little small for me because these are the gloves my aunt uses for work, but better to have some protection than no protection at all, especially when it comes to rust. Because then I would have to run to the hospital for a tetanus shot, and those aren't fun. I should technically have work gloves, but I don't. I just have my winter gloves and I don't know how they would be. Come on. Come on you fucker, you know what you want to get in here. There you go. Alright. So now I got some gloves on. 
so I can see what the hell's going on in here. Because another problem uh, is this power supply. I hope that I hope that can come out. Let me try to get a paper towel. Oh, shit. I was trying to get this going for y'all, but I I'm a little frightened. I'm a little scared. I'm not trying to go too wet. Not too damp. Just a little damp. I can see if this can come out. <clears throat> it doesn't look like it is. So I don't know if it's sun faded or what it is, but. I gotta, I gotta put it down to the board on this one. Ah, shit. So there should be like these four screws for the CD drive. And then it comes out. By the way, it looks like like the CD drive screws are a little loose, so it looks like somebody's been in here before me. Holy oh, shit. I can't lie, I'm a little ticked off, but I'm hoping I get my money back because I guess it's 30 day, the uh, 60 day return, but it's only in Japan, so who the hell knows if I can even get it back. drive is out okay so that's some good news the rest of the bit at least the RF shielding doesn't look too bad thing that's here because there is a few screws I need to get to but this thing's in the way I'm gonna try to still grab it <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever taken apart a 3DL if this is worth saving. I don't even know if the power works because I don't want to I don't want to touch it. Really. Definitely have to use the magnets for this one. It's not wanting to come out, hopefully. I have to 
screwed it enough that it will come out. Just want to get rid of these. By the way, um, for the digital AV board, it only supports Madam and Clio chipsets. And you really don't have to worry about that too much because if you have a FZ1 like I have here, you should be in the clear. Okay, so there should be two more screws over here. You should be in the clear. They didn't start using the anvil chips until late 94. Five, I'm gonna say, and no, and that's when they started making the FC tens. So if you have an FC ten and it was manufactured, I think the cutoff date is June of '95. You should be good. After that, you might have an anvil, and then you can't use the digital AV. Yeah, the screws are tight. Let me try to take off the shielding. Oh wait, there's one more screw back here. Gotta be careful, it's right near the power. It's another thing I'm glad I have on right now. My wedges are made of rubber. So let me go get my tweezers. <clears throat> Wedges on linoleum floor. I should be good. Okay, so this I don't want to bend the aluminum. I'm gonna try to get the screws out. I can. Okay, one fell inside. One is being a dick. Okay, so what else is keeping it in? Oh, there's one right here. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Okay. So now we should be able to get this out. And see what our damage is. I think okay. So let's see what the damage is on the board itself. Judging by it, looks like the board itself is clean. Although I would have to definitely see if I can replace that power supply. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to work right now. But... This thing is getting a full replacement of caps, but it looks like the caps are okay. I want to take a picture of the board, and I'm going to send it along <clears throat> to one up, see if see if it's a board that they can do something about.
because the board looks clean. The board really looks clean. It's just the RF shielding that seems like it's the problem. Looks like the although one thing I didn't count on. Never mind. I got it out. Hopefully, I didn't break any of that. Okay, that's just the screw. Good, 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 good. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, all right. Whew. And by the way, this is the bracket I was telling you about. So the humble bazooka is going to go in under here. <coughs> it's going to take a quick couple minutes. wrong picture <sighs> I don't think it was me that put the wrong picture I think Twitter put up the wrong picture because I know what I picked The rest of the board looks clean. There's no issues with the caps. But I'm afraid of that power supply. <clears throat> the only reason I'm willing to give the power supply a shot is because in the in the eBay listing, he actually was able to turn it on. The rest of the board looks clean, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. <clears throat> After I clean it, obviously. <clears throat> I wouldn't put. If I could avoid it, I'd rather leave the RF shield off because it's so rusty. <sighs> so, because my plan is to clean this fucking thing. 
Okay, so I think there's a few more screws I gotta deal with to remove the board itself. Because another thing is I want to see the RF shielding underneath. That's a big concern for me. See, is there any other? This is a screw right there. It's amazing once you get the RF shield off how little screws there are in here. And the back plate isn't that rusted either. I'm gonna oh, try to get it from the back if I can. Oh no, wait a minute. I think I got it. Okay. So this is the 3DL board, this little thing. And of course you could see where there was supposed to be an RF modulator. Like they left the RF modulator in, um, like they left the box in, but they just made it the mode select switch. That's interesting. By the way, this expansion ports for the video CD and this one's for your memory expander. The fuse looks okay. Let me check the underside of the board. Yeah, the other side of the board looks okay, except for over here. That, I don't know if that's a burn or, cause it's only at the reset and power. This bottom RF shield, holy shit. This is bad. And I need to keep this because, and see, the underside of this isn't so bad. It's just the inside of it. And I've dealt with this with like the Famicom and stuff. So, because I gotta keep that shield at least because there's screw holes. But yeah, this is the full 3DO case right here. So I'm going to try to clean it and then try to take the CD drive out and save the bracket because I need to put the 3DO, <clears throat> try the ODE in. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to take these off right now. I'm gonna clean the, because honestly, I think it's with the size of the 3DO, I think it would probably be better if I, um, because this is a lot, one of the more bigger systems. So I think I should try to put it in the bathtub and with some dish soap and let it soak and then try to scrub it. Because there's only really the top and the bottom that really do. So that's the, the radio taken apart. And let's see the date if I can. 94. Alright. So it's an A. So it came from Psycon. 94411. So trying to read the factory oh that's that's the date okay so it was this mold at least was made on April 11th of 94 so this is one of the earlier 3DOs so yeah I just gotta take care of this and reach the seller you know, see what they can do. Because, like I said, I was just expecting the disk drive to not work, which is a common problem with the 3DOs. I did not expect it to be rusty on the inside like it is. So, I don't know if maybe they can make a price adjustment or. Because I got my work cut out for me here. <laughs>